I'm going to show you a quick little reactive tip for handling a very normal navigation situation like this. So I just have a login page here. I'm going to click the little login button. We're going to sign in and it's going to navigate to the next page. So often we might need to navigate as the result of some side effect like making a request to a service, just like with this login example. I do the login and once it completes, I want the navigation to be triggered. Now this is a very common scenario and a very common way to handle this would be to just subscribe to the stream that makes the request and trigger the navigation as a result. However, when we are trying to code reactively using observable streams, we typically rely on the async pipe to subscribe to the stream for us in the template. But that's a bit harder to do for situations where we aren't just displaying something in the template. So what if we want to trigger some side effect when a stream emits some data, like navigating to a different page, for example, but I also want to avoid manually subscribing to the observable stream. So I'm going to show you another example from the application I've been referencing a lot recently. And this time we are going to look at how I am triggering a navigation to a different page after a successful login attempt without manually needing to subscribe to an observable. So I'm using component store for this. I pretty much always use component store these days, but I won't be going into detail about component store. So I'll link to some component store content if you are interested in learning more about how that works but mostly component store is just simple local reactive state management. So you can see on my login page here, the home page, all I have is a login method that triggers an effect from the component store. And if we take a look at the component store, we can see the effect. So this effect handles changing the login status state from pending to authenticating success and error as necessary and we can see the actual state that we're dealing with up here. So we trigger our login process in the auth service, and if it is successful, we set the state to success. Now this is all just component store stuff that I don't want to get too much into in this video, but the important part is that this is where we trigger the navigation. So if the login succeeds, then the navigation will just be triggered automatically as a side effect of that success state and we never have to subscribe manually to anything because component store is handling that for us. All we need to do to log in in our component is call a single method and then everything is going to be handled automatically. So I really like this approach to navigations that involve some kind of side effect. Uh, it keeps in line with the reactive approach, which is nice, but mostly I think it just makes the code nicer and less error prone. We're being very explicit about exactly when that navigation should be triggered. And if we want that navigation to occur, we can just have this be triggered automatically here rather than writing some additional imperative code to get a response back and then look at that response and see what should happen as a result. Okay, that's it for this video. If you're interested in checking out how to build uh, this entire app, which includes using Firestore emulators, test-driven development, reactive programming, project management techniques, and a lot more, feel free to check out the module over at EliteIonic.com. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy your day, and I hope to see you back here for the next video.